Hi everyone, I'm Xiao Fan, System Applications Marketing Manager from Texas Instrument. Today, I'm proud to announce the release of two new devices, TPS92630 Q1 and TPS92602 Q1. Both parts are AEC Q100 qualified and designed for automotive exterior LED lighting applications. LED is being used increasingly more in automotive because we're using LED more and more in automotive applications, we are facing new challenges in how to achieve differentiated designs while also fully meeting the regulations required in different countries. As a result, the market is calling for solutions that are more robust, more intelligent, and have a higher degree of flexibility. Texas Instrument has been focusing on automotive market for more than 30 years and is committed to offering industry-leading products that meets the demand of this market trend. First, let's talk about using the TPS92630 Q1 for your rear lighting applications. This is a three channel device with a maximum of 150 milliamp per channel. It's a constant current linear LED driver that is designed to be a cost effective, low EMI solution for rear lamp applications. It also has fully integrated diagnostics control. The TPS92630 Q1 uses a high side current source to integrate LED strings with a common cathode connection, save wiring cost and improving reliability. Each channel's peak current is globally set with the ref pin and each individual string's brightness and on-off can be adjusted through PWM. The TPS92630 Q1 also implements thermal management and diagnostics for open, short, and single LED short detection. The flexible fault pin can achieve bus connection that supports multiple parts working together without an additional MCU. Here, you can see a total of nine LED strings with three LEDs each for stop and tail light functions. We use a total of three TPS92630-Q1 devices to connect the nine LED strings and everything is connected on a single fault bus to realize one fail, all fail. Using this configuration, you can easily see that we have built the stop and tail and dynamic rolling functions with a pure analog solution. When any LED string has an open and short condition, it either notifies the fault bus floating to shut down all the LED strings to realize one fail, all fail, or pulls high to ignore the failure. The TPS92630 Q1 can also detect a single LED short in the same way as the one fail, all fail methodology. Now, let's talk about TPS92602 Q1. This is a two channel, constant current, single stage switching LED driver. It's designed for automotive front lighting. It supports all common topologies such as buck, boost, buck boost, sepik, flyback, and others. Similar to our rear lighting device, the TPS92602 Q1 also has high side control and high side current sense for demanding designs in the automotive. This device's flexible design allows it to support both analog and PWM dimming. Having both constant current and constant voltage loops, it can protect the entire system in constant voltage mode when an LED open happens. It then recovers back to constant current mode when the open is removed. Finally, the TPS92602 Q1 has full diagnostic capabilities with a dedicated DIAC pin to read back fault information through the ADC. Both channels have separate controls, diagnostics, loop compensation, and switches with 180 degrees out of phase, reducing EMI. There's also a pin-to-pin -pin single channel version, TPS92601 Q1, making this family of devices ideal for your full LED front light systems. Here, we're using one TPS92602 Q1 to connect two LED strings. You can see from this demo that two channels can work individually. When open happens to one channel, there's no impact to the other channel allowing the TPS92602 Q1 to recover automatically. Thank you for your time. We're looking forward to working with you and supporting your new product development for more information. 
visit our website. As always, we welcome your feedback at ti.com slash e2e.